could feel that Cooper vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flop, then let them flop. See you in the next world, Slack Hooper. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant Chumley escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well... I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get set. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Capital T. You go poking around his stronghold in China, 
You're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper.